back to the channel of Pro Enzo Vid, and um, tonight's video is about my uh, thoughts and what potential uh, clubs this particular player can land at for next year in 2022, and that is the uh, uh, former Gold Coast Titans utility, Tyrone Peachy. Now, uh, as most of us know already, but in case you don't, I'll explain now. Uh, Tyrone Peachy has been told by the Gold Coast Titans next year to not um, that he's not part of their plan to going going forward, and um, obviously you know um, he's a free agent at this rate, and right now he is, and obviously you know he's free to speak to any club he can or if he wants to, and um, yeah, I mean I'm sure I'm sure there will be some interest because he's a good player, a good player on his day, Tyrone Peachy, you know can play fullback if you really want him to, play in the centers, play in the halves, uh, hooker, and I think anywhere in the forwards forwards as well, so. Yeah, he's a very versatile player that will do a great job for any club, I reckon. Um, but yeah, these are the four clubs that I believe or have been rumoured to be showing interest in Tyrone Peach in the past. And I'll go through why um, each four club, each four of these clubs that I've heard about, you know, being rumoured to Tyrone Peach and signing him. And I'll go through why I think those those clubs could really work out for him going there. But um, yeah, uh, before I start... Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, and also if you haven't already, make sure you turn on post notifications on. So that in that way, whenever I upload a video, you get a notification. And then yeah, that's how you know I've, I've done an, an upload. So um yeah, just thought I might mention that quickly, and I'd be greatly appreciated if if you can do that. But um yeah, let's get into the video. Um, going for the first team, it's the, it's the Camera Raiders, and obviously the Raiders, you know. Just yesterday, I heard that um, the Raiders were very in were interested in signing um, Tyrone Peachy for next year. I mean, Ricky Stewart even confirmed on the, um, some sort of website or some some sort of source over there called the the Canberra Times, and he basically uh, Ricky Stewart basically confirmed that there is interest for Tyrone Peachy to join the club next year. And look, I honestly, I honestly think that's a good pickup for the Raiders. I think Raiders do need a bit of well, they need something something different next year. The Raiders, I mean, this year they'll piss Paul with many things and I think there has to be a little bit of a shake up in the team a slight one not a big one but a slight a slight shake up in the team and I think adding Tyrone Peachy wouldn't hurt at all because I think Tyrone Peachy would be a, a very strong addition to that team um you know he could play I mean depending on how Josh Hogson goes or if they'll keep Josh Hogson for next year because there's also rumors that he could be leaving the, the club next year so just if, for example if he, if he was to go Move Tom Starling to the full time hooker role and put Tyrone Peaches at Jersey fourteen. That wouldn't be a bad. That wouldn't that wouldn't be that bad in my opinion. So that's an option there you can try. Um, but yeah, look, I think it'd be a good fit for the Raiders. I mean, it's another skillful, skillful player to the list. Uh, Raiders have plenty of um, great players in, in that team. Um, despite them not really, not despite Canberra not really clicking this year, they've got still got a lot of great players in that squad they currently have, and I think adding Tyrone Peachy would um, definitely further uh, strengthen their squad uh, without a doubt. Another team is the West Tigers. Now I said a couple, I said a couple of months ago in a video I made about the West Tigers how I um, mentioned five players, five players I could uh, see going to the West Tigers, and I recommended re re recommended for them to target and. Um, yeah, Tyrone Peach is one I did mention, and I feel like now it's a big possibility of happening, actually. So, if he was to go to the Tigers, you know, I pretty much got one good correct, um, good good one good prediction correct, uh, didn't I? So, um, yeah, no, look, any, anyway, I think he'd be a good pickup for the Tigers, and, you know, I think he'd be perfect for that club. I think Tigers do need a bit of a ball-playing sort of uh, forward in their team, because I think that's one thing, one thing the Tigers are really lacking, it's a ball playing forward, and if they do, if they were to get one, it'd really, um, rejuvenate their attack, like, make it a bit more stronger, and a bit more, I guess, better, in that sort of, uh, sense, and, uh, yeah, he'd be a good pickup, I reckon, for the Tigers, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised that the Tigers were starting to make major discussions with him soon, because I think that's a big possibility of happening. So, um, yeah, I reckon Tigers are a decent chance of signing him for next year and onwards, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, the third club I've heard about now, and this club, as soon as Tyrone Peachy got released on Monday, there were, big, there were instant reports that the Broncos were interested in, in signing him next for next year as well. And, um, yeah, I believe Broncos are another club that could definitely use Tyrone Peach. I think Tyrone Peach going to the Broncos would be a good pickup for them. Um, obviously, John Asiata, a, a ball playing a ball playing front rower himself going to the Bulldogs next year. Uh, obviously, it kind of leaves him a bit short of a, having another ball playing front rower there. 
or a forward, I should say. And yeah, adding Tyrone Peachy to basically replace John Asiata as that ball playing forward would be um, a very smart move, in my opinion. I think Tyrone Peachy going to the Broncos would also be good. Um, seems like Kevy Kevy Wallace is really building something. Uh, really building something there next year. Obviously, he's already recruited um, Adam Reynolds, John Pereira, Branko Lee, Kirk Capewell, and Corey Jensen. I'm not sure if I'm missing on any missing out on anyone else. But um, anyway, look, they're really they're really building something next to the Broncos. I feel like they have got a lot of good young players and a lot of um, experience now for next year. And I think adding Tyrone Peachy would you know further help their experience in the team. Actually, I think Tyrone Peachy could mentor. A lot of young players, especially in the Fords for the Broncos and that. So, yeah, I think it'll be a good pickup for them. I can, really, I can really see him going there. I, really, I can really do. Like, I can really see him uh, joining the Broncos for next year in other words. But, again, wait and see. And then the last club, which I feel like it's the most likely out of the other three clubs I mentioned, uh, the Parramatta Eels. Now, the Eels, for some reason, a couple of months ago, were showing interest in Tyrone Peachy. Like, I, I discussed this on the podcast, on my Ankle Bracket podcast, a couple of weeks ago, and... Uh, about the rumor of um, Paramount Eels having talks with Tyrone Peachy. Now, I think it's pretty weird because I don't think um, the Paramount Eels even need Tyrone Peachy. Tyrone Peachy, they've got enough. They've got enough already. I mean, maybe they could use an, an, another big prop, maybe like a, a prop, maybe the um, Eels. But I don't think they should be signing signing a player like Tyrone Peachy. Not not at that caliber. I don't think because they don't really need that sort of. Sort of um yeah player because we've already got Will Smith like what's what's wrong with Will Smith I mean Will Smith Will Smith was just like Tyrone Peach you, you know can cover in the halves hooker basically as a ball playing front rower himself maybe who knows um the top, the, the Eels don't even need him but I don't know if because Tyrone Peach I mean Will Will Smith is off contract for the Parramatta Eels this year so maybe he won't be re-signed after all maybe he'll be told to move on but the way and see on that one as well but um. Yeah, look, I don't really think Parramatta need Tyrone Peachy, but if they sign him, you could pick up nothing less. But um, yeah, I, I think um, it, it's most it's most unlikely to happen now that other three clubs are mentioned above. But um, anyway, guys, where do you see Tyrone Peachy ending up in twenty twenty two? I think um, I think the Broncos and the Tigers are two of the most most likely clubs to sign for next year and next year in Auckland, in my opinion. But um, yeah, if there's another club that you think you might go to that I didn't mention in my uh, top four right here. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below and you can tell me where you think Peachy would go to. But guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, like, comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video.